Hey guys, this is Leah. I just wanted to do a brief update. This is a four month update on her hair company Brazilian Curly. Again, as you guys know, I have a 24, 22, and a 20 inch um, length in my hair. I have three bundles, not all of them actually. My stylist definitely gave me some hair back to go home with. I have my perimeter left out and then some right here that I need to blend. And you can kind of see because my hair is actually this really ashy blonde color. It's extremely hard to find hair this color. So when my cellist bleached it and dyed it, she did the best that she could do to match it, which I think was amazing. So, but you can still see where my hair, like my natural hair, the color versus like the extension. I'll never escape that. As you guys know, I got this hair and it was a very dark brown. It was the natural dark black brown and that does not match my natural hair color at all. So my stylist had to bleach it and then she dyed it as soon as I got it. She installed it. Um, I had the hair in for about a month, then I decided to get a little bit creative. I used a volume 40 developer and um, I used, I think, a blue um, toner, mixed it up and literally took globs in my hand with a glove and then I test stranded it on this. Left this on for a long time because I was so scared I had hurt this hair. It, it really doesn't take to bleach, so I test stranded it and it did, definitely. Um, but I just took it and for like three minutes if even I just put it on the ends I don't know if you can tell that the ends are a little lighter. You can kind of see when I do this um, I literally didn't there was no um, method to the madness I just literally was just like this on the ends that was it. I left it on for three minutes got in the shower rinsed it out um, I do think and this could be just in my head and it could just be for the, the amount of time that I had this hair in that the ends got a little frizzier and a little more frayed but um as you can see I don't really think that they kind of were damaged that much at all if any um, I'll kind of pan down so you can maybe see it better so here are the ends of the hair I hope that you can see it well I'll do a little close-up I do kind of feel like maybe because I put the bleach in it that the ends got a little frizzy and definitely I can see them splitting if I look at them very closely they're all there they're, it is the ends are starting to split still this hair remains full and super soft it is literally I, I did a hot oil treatment with this hair and most but basically to benefit my natural hair because it is time for me to get the the, the sew-in redone Definitely, I've just been very, very lazy, which is awful. Um, I hope that my hair doesn't pay for my laziness of not wanting to go to my stylist and get the braids redone because they're definitely loose. My hair grew a lot. Um, I'll show you guys. So you can see this is where the track is, and this is my hair on this side. So it grew a, a lot, and it is definitely time for me to go and get this redone if I want to put this hair back in or let my hair breathe for a second. Who knows? I haven't decided. So I did a hot oil treatment on this hair. I detangled it always in the shower with a deep conditioner. I did not detangle it again when I got out of the shower. I just wrapped it up and then I just let it air dry. And once it was dry, I did it. I went ahead and curled the natural hair, my, my hair, my leave out. Any cons that I've noticed about this hair? Really, there is none. I am disappointed that I feel like, and this could again just be in my mind, it's completely up to you guys' interpretation if you remember my initial video versus the video now if my ends look any different but I do think that they got a little bit more that they're just starting to split and they're looking a little frizzy like I would almost want to trim this hair I'm not but I would almost want to if this was like my hair I'd want to just trim off the ends of it because I've noticed that I think personally that they're just getting a little frayed I'm excited that it didn't lose the curl I can't say that it's more tangly because I um, put the bleach in. I, I think it's more tangly because the ends are frayed, which again could be because I put the bleach in. Who knows? But I definitely still do recommend this hair. I, I can't say I don't wash it or wet it down every couple of days. Like I said in my initial video, I've kind of, you know, the, the longer you have the hair, the more you know it, the lazier you get. I literally just, when I wake up, I sleep with it up in a pineapple and then I just clip the front down because it's way too long. It just will flop over and I will sleep on the curls and flatten them. So I kind of like clip them up like right here with one of these bad boys after the hair is up in a ponytail, uh, a very slack ponytail on the top of my head. And then essentially when I wake up, I do always have to kind of touch up the curls, which is I'm sure damaging my own hair. But I do try to use a little bit of heat protectant and then I will take this wand curler and I will touch up the curls essentially every single morning and then um, as the week goes by if it gets frizzier and frizzier I will just add more I will continue to, to curl 
more of the extensions like usually I just curl my transitioning hair with the pieces of the extension so that it all blends and then I kind of just leave the rest and let it do whatever but if it's getting frizzier I will begin to curl the extensions I actually have to say maybe I can try to put a picture when you comb this hair out you get some really big volume um, voluminous Diana Ross hair and I really actually kind of favor this hair I've only worn it once during fashion week which you will see in a vlog actually when it's like all poofed out and big it's really pretty to me so I'm gonna stop talking now this has been my four month update on her hair company Brazilian curly hair I hope that you guys enjoy if you have any questions whatsoever let me know in the comments and I will get back to you immediately with um, any information that I have and what has been working for me, I get tons of compliments on this hair. I'm stopped constantly by people who have questions or people who are just like, is that your hair? Is that the natural color that the hair came with? What do you do to it? Where did you get it? I get tons. So I will say that this hair is definitely recommended. Um, maintenance, I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most, I want to give this hair a 7 and it's a, it's a hard 7 to give only because it's the fact that I left hair out. I think if I had a closure this hair would be infinitely more easier. Um, I'm not sure. But because I have to kind of continue to curl and blend my hair, I think that it is some maintenance. And the fact that every week I do have to deep condition it just to make sure that I don't damage it anymore because of what I, I've done with the bleach and you know all that stuff. So yeah, I think you guys should pick it up. I'll show you guys the back of the hair now. watching this very brief um, update on her hair company Brazilian curly hair subscribe like this video thumbs up my Instagram is Leah Ballerina if you have any questions again feel free to ask me thank you guys again for watching don't mind this like really straight piece of hair I don't know what to do with it I can't make it right now I can't